This is the free motion quilting tutorial for Pebble Ripples. This video is being sponsored by the Day Style Designs Quilt Shop. Support this free motion quilting project and find many tools and supplies to make free motion quilting easier on your home machine. Check it out at daystyledesigns.com. Now let's get back to Pebble Ripples. To quilt this design, you're first going to start with a small cluster of pebbles. Uh, or circles, just small circular shapes and you really want to play with making many of them different sizes. So some of them really big and some of them really small and just play with swirling those around and creating a tight little cluster of them on the surface of your quilt. Now the second step of the design is to travel stitch a short distance away from that and then echo it. And this echo you really want to follow the contours of that cluster pebbles so if the edges are really wobbly bobbly make sure that your echo is really wobbly bobbly and that adds to the effect and the texture of the design it really makes it stand out and you can see how pretty that is on the surface of this little quilt square to move on with the design all you're going to do is just simply work on another cluster of circles travel stitch and echo it as well this design is stitched very densely in this video, but that doesn't mean that you can't use it on a bed quilt on a larger scale. Just make sure that all of your circles are much bigger and that the ripples around them are very wide as well. Personally though, I would probably use this on a wall hanging or uh, something where I could use it on a small scale. I think it looks beautiful on a small scale. It is very dense but it had such a punch of texture that you really can't get any other place. It's also a very simple design. It's just simply circles and echo stitching. And this is a non-connecting echo. So the effect of it is to make a much lighter ripply effect around those pebbles so it doesn't stand out quite as much. But the combination of the two really makes a beautiful design for the surface of your quilt. If you have a show quilt or a wall hanging that's in the works, consider using this design as I think that it'll look really, really excellent no matter where you put it in the quilt. Now we fast forwarded here to towards the end of this design and you can see how this texture looks on the surface of this quilt square. And uh, it's just gorgeous. I absolutely love this texture and I can't wait to play with it in another quilt. This is going to work great around those complicated areas of your quilt, um, around a motif or an applique. If you have something complex, like a flower shape, uh, it's going to work fine around that because you can kind of bend and twist those pebbles first around that shape and then the echo stitching really is determined by the pebbles. So it's really a design that can easily fit into small areas and you can see that even those shapes that I've kind of had to squish into an odd area, they still look consistent with the rest of the design and they don't look odd. Um, that's the nice thing about it is you can easily squish it down or cut it in half, only stitch maybe a half circle of pebbles and that looks just fine. Here you can see I'm just kind of wiggling these in into the small little space and trying to keep it consistent but then I'm still going to work my way around it and do a few lines of echo stitching right there just so it has a little bit of space between this cluster and the cluster next to it. Now I'm going to wiggle to the opposite side and do the same thing over here. Of course it's, it's very hard to see it in this video and I'm sorry I was so far away from the camera but hopefully you can see it in this picture. This is Pebble Ripples. For over 300 videos on free motion quilting, plus many tools and supplies for this wonderful hobby, please check out daystyledesigns.com.